welcome to yet another beer show. I'm Steve. I'm JT. And today we're going to be reviewing a, a beer that we found at one of the local beer show, uh, shops. It is from the farmhouse sale, Bam Beer, from Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales out of uh, Michigan. Um, no particular reason why I chose this, it just looked good. It said it's bottle conditioned. Um, they actually have on here the batch that it was made and the date that it was bottled. So it's fairly fresh. Well, a, re a reoccurring theme that we found on this, if you actually look through some previous episodes, a lot of the beers that we enjoy had fish on them. So I guess we're, by extension, assuming that because it has another animal on it, it's going to be good. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that. It uh, does, have, ha does have a dog on it. It does have the dog, but I didn't notice the, the thing about the fish, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, Actually, it doesn't say the uh, the alcohol percentage on this. So we're gonna assume this is very low compared to some of our other beers. <laughs> um, it's a, I, I don't think they can actually put it because it is bottle conditioned, um, which basically means that it depends on the bottle. Yeah, it depends on on what happens in the bottle. Okay. So um, let's dive in and we'll cheers to that then. See see how it goes. All right. So what's really interesting about this beer, like uh, a lot of beers, sometimes they have the history of, of the beer on the back, right? And this one actually describes the reason why it's named, uh, why there's a dog on the front. Uh, apparently the dog um, was a Jack Russell Terrier that the brewer had, got hit by a car, and he bounced back. And so like, it says the brew is dedicated to those who have fallen and risen, right? Um, what's hilarious about it though is, the name of the beer is called Bam Beer. So I'm trying to figure out if the Jack Russell Terrier was named Bam before or after he got hit by the car. <laughs> it's either very coincidental that his name was Bam before he got hit by the car, yeah. or very appropriate that his name was changed to Bam after he was hit by the car. So sure. um, yeah, we'd love, we'd love to hear the whole story if, uh, if Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales is, is willing to share it with us and we can share it in a later, later episode, but um, kind of kind of funny. Yeah. So. Oh, it's got, wow, that's interesting. It is a very interesting smell. I, I was gonna say it was sweet, but you know, it, it, it is like a nice golden color. I would mm -hmm. say like, you know, similar to like a Pilsner, but it's got more of a head than I would usually, you know, usually find in a Pilsner. Right. It said this is a farmhouse ale. Farmhouse ale. So, so it, <laughs> hard, hard to know exactly what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Because I've never had a farmhouse ale before. It smell, it smells good. It, um, it almost has like a, a tart or tart yeah. smell to it. Yeah. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Oh wow! Actually, it has that citrus tartness. It does. It, Basically, as you described, like not a sour. No, no, not at all. But yeah, this clean—it's actually very refreshing. It's a little—it's a little warm in San Francisco today. Yeah, we're talking about like 65 degrees in January. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little warmer than we expected, though. So this is actually kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, a little warmer, and it's—it's it's, even though it's got a lot of flavor, it's very refreshing. This, this is totally unexpected from this beer. I was actually, when I read Farmhouse Ale, I was expecting something like a little stronger, a little darker. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome surprised. Um, it does have that sweet flavor. Um, the carbonation is actually really nice with it too. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not as strong as like, you know, you would say like a soda or something in terms of carbonation. But I think it, it does give it that extra sort of like light feeling on your tongue where it is refreshing. It doesn't have a crisp flavor. It's it's just very there. It is there, and then it's gone. You know. Yeah. Um, it I can taste a little bit of the alcohol, which makes me think that it does have a little bit. I I don't <laughs> actually I don't taste it at all. So, which could be dangerous. Yeah, exactly. It's it's only after I drink it and then breathe in that's when I can really what? kind of feel it. But what's really interesting is we're actually drinking this at kind of a. A warmer temperature. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm interested. We, you know, we took these 
took this out of the fridge maybe an hour ago. Okay. Um, and and you know usually we're common to like let beers uh, cool down a little. Um, or actually, warm up a little. Bit. Or warm up. Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, I think this works very well with this beer. Yeah. I don't think I could have this at a crisper, colder temperature. The the, the fact that it's it is a little bit warmer and it's still that refreshing. Yeah. Um, I think if it were colder, you would actually lose a little bit of the flavor that mm -hmm. you have out of it. Um, and we don't a little, the temperature would be a little overpowering, I think, in the... Right. Yeah, the, the, it's like a lot of white wines. Mm -hmm. they, they recommend letting you let it warm up to above, uh, above uh, you know, refrigerator temperature because you lose a lot of the flavor, and I think this is very similar. It's got a lot of flavor at this temperature, but colder, I think it would still be refreshing and, and good, but you wouldn't get the the same, yeah, the same flavor. And 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 you know, as we said, this is a hot day and it's very refreshing. This this totally is like I would say in in terms of refreshing, you know, this is this is where like you know a nice Chrono with a lime is. This is where this beer is. This this is totally a different spectrum of being refreshing. Um, it, it doesn't have that. It, it, it's it's not in the Corona department. That's why I'm trying to put it. It's, oh, it's yeah. totally it's totally it's, its own like area of refreshing. Yeah, Corona. Well, you know, Corona is kind of refreshing because it's such a light flavor. You get a little bit of citrus in there. You know, you throw a lime in there, and, and, and it gets refreshing because it it's I mean it's almost watery. Yes. And that's nice on a really really hot day or yeah. when you've been out. You know, if you if you live in a more arid area. And you've been out in the yard working. That's yes. very, very nice. This would still be actually nice. Perfect this would be that. nice. Like if I was mowing, if I had a lawn to mow, <laughs> you know, this this would be uh, this would be that beer. Uh, I'm happy that I don't have a lawn to mow, but but I'll I'll pretend that I've mowed a lawn and drink this beer anyway. Cheers so, for that. So that's JT. That's Steve. And uh, thanks for watching yet another beer show. Check us out on yetanotherbeershow.com, and uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, thanks guys. Cheers. Sorry, you know what, let's do this and we'll talk later. Okay. We'll talk over beer. Yeah, I like that.